there it is. Alright, starting the breach. Hello everyone! This is Alice the Dragon, and I'm back in Delver. Listen, um, yeah, things have been pretty heavy. You know, it's 2020, so um, today, June 2nd, I uh, feel like I really need to just kind of, you know, get, get some things out there. But that's kind of kind of good, because it ties into my lecture series so far, in a way. And, yeah, and that is, you know, what do we owe other human beings? You know, if, if you'll recall, I, uh, oh, oh, it's the, it's the shop guy again. Ooh, hello. We have met it again. It must be a tenacious thing to make it this far. Anyway, is not one for musing. Perhaps it would like to trade. What the heck is that thing? Is it a scarf? I hope it's a scarf. I really hope it's a scarf. Words from dead stars. Ooh, that. Oh, yeah. Scrolls. I don't really use scrolls that much, buddy. So I'm. I'm just gonna kind of leave it. Uh, damn. I never know which weapon to use. Like, this one's enchanted, but it's... Uh, I kind of have to refresh myself on everything. Oh yeah, this this one's a lot better. Okay. Um, yeah, so back to the lecture. Yeah, it, you'll, you'll recall that um, you know, I think it was in the last... Ooh, that's uh, kind of intimidating. Um, in the last episode, is it really... Is this really all there is here? I think that is. Yeah, I was talking about how um, how fiction is a good way to uh, get a good grasp on things, and uh, there's yeah, there's there's been you know pieces of fiction. I'm I'm sure, like I haven't read it any yet, but you know, covering riots and such, and, and, um, but I want to go back to the question, you know, what do we owe eth you know, what do we owe other human beings? And, uh, ooh, did I? Right, that one, uh, that one's got better stuff. I need to refresh myself on, I need to not throw stuff on the ground. Okay, so... There's a little unexplored corner back that way. Yeah, that looks like it's the way to go. Um, yeah, and uh, I think that one very good piece of fiction for us to look to, especially now, um, is The Good Place. It is definitely a series for its time. Yeah, it, uh, it kind of goes back to the, you know, philosophical roots that, honestly, we really need to get back in touch with our philosophical side because, you know, morality itself is a ethical problem, which, you know, by its very nature is a philosophical problem. You know, you, you can't know for, for you know, there, you know, Rights are a essentially a, a fiction that we create because it is good for us. Now, when I say it's a fiction, I I, I really yeah I, I really say that you know we create our. Uh, you know, by by giving others certain rights, we we're all also in a sense giving ourselves rights, because you know if you know if I were to say, well, you are you know not allowed to uh, talk about pottery in front of me because I find pottery very offensive 
and I'm going to tell you uh, not to talk about it now. Well, that you know that would uh, make make the other person uh, quite upset, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, and dang it, I keep doing that. And in some cases, uh, you might end up with a situation where they're like, "Well, you told me not to talk about pottery, so now you can't talk about your uh, miniature games." So there. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we, we really need to keep in mind that balance. And you know, that's that's a purely practical way of looking at it. And. Uh, and maybe it, now's a good time to segue into kind of the existential way of, uh, of looking at it. So, yeah, as, as a little refresher, existentialism um, is essentially we perceive through our senses. Senses can be deceived. Is that just... This, this bow must uh, be like a stunning or a poison. Where? 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 Oh, there you are. Okay. Poison potion. No, thank you. All right. Uh, where are? We? I'm gonna get in so much trouble one of these days doing that. Yeah. So existentialism, you know, is, uh, you know, we perceive through our senses. You can't know for absolute sure that what you're perceiving is real. So, are other people real? Hmm. Yeah, you know, that's that's a good question. I think on the very off chance that, uh, actually, it's it's a not so off chance, uh, in my opinion, that uh, yeah, you know, people exist. Therefore, they have influence uh, over my life. And it is in my best interest to uh, both be cooperative and to stand up for what I believe is fair and equitable for myself. You know, that's yeah, you know, that's almost kind of a, a libertarian way of, or a traditional libertarian way of looking at things. I, I uh, honestly uh, have feelings about current parties, but, you know, political parties aren't uh, philosophical ethos, so we're not even going to to go there. Uh, hmm, how is... this is 12 AC, 7 AC, yeah, I don't, I don't need that. And, uh, if we, you know, you know, if we come to the conclusion that yeah, it's, it's in my best interest to believe that other people exist and give them the same, uh, let's say, permissions. Like, I think permissions is, uh, is honestly a more accurate way of, uh, of looking at it than, uh, yeah, than rights. Because, you know, rights are... Yeah, like, people treat them like they're something that existed already. But it's honestly not. It's it's a uh, construction by people who are just like, well, I want everybody to treat me this way. Which is good. Because we need to enforce those boundaries in order to be healthy individuals. That's a lesson I had to learn the hard way, especially these coming months. Or not coming months, so previous months. Please uh, ex excuse my little confusion there. Um, yeah, I think this is everything down there, and uh, what we need to do now is go back up, um, go back up to the caves. Uh, I think we came out very well on this uh, path, so uh, let's just continue our little amble back. Kill some bats along the way. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Hello. Uh, range 7, 5 to 11. This is more range 7 to 14. I could have sworn this one was 
doing like some sort of poison damage to to that uh, bat earlier. Huh. That is that is quite odd. And anyway, uh, so yeah, we've come to the conclusion so far that it's in it's really in our best interest to give um, yeah to enforce our. Uh, yeah, enforce our own rights by giving other people rights, right? <laughs> um, <clears throat> and, yeah, oops. for me at least, yeah, it's, it's also kind of a self-interest thing too. And that's purely out of the fact that I just... I don't like seeing humans being mean to each other. And, yeah. Wait a minute, didn't I? Oh, sorry, I'm getting turned around. Okay, sewer one. The other place is that way. That way, okay. Uh, excuse me there. So, yeah, when, when uh, we get down to. Um, yeah, when we, when we, when we see someone who thinks that they have, yeah, they have, uh, you know, kind of a rights for me, not, not for the, uh, yeah, kind of attitude, people who would... Uh, for example, put their knee on the neck of another human being until they pass out and die. That is terrible. And yeah, in a way, that is giving permission to other individuals to yeah to yeah have the same view. And yeah, if. Yeah, it really comes down to it. I wouldn't want it to happen to me. Therefore, I wouldn't want to be the one who does that. All right, so the other way was over this way, right? Yeah, it's up here. Yeah, this will, uh... Oh, wait. Was in there? Yeah. Okay. Just keep going up. Keep going up. We're, uh... We are heading that way, aren't we? Wait, where is the way up? It's over there. Okay. And this kind of gives us the chance to see what's going... And also to use this bridge again! Because this... Yeah. This bridge is fun. Yeah, what I, uh... What I w really want to see is humanity realizing just what a zeitgeist we've become. We are essentially a collective hive mind. And um, I'm actually writing a story about a hive mind. Uh, yeah, because, yeah, they, uh, yeah, they, uh, I'm going the wrong way. Very wrong way. Okay. Um, yeah, we're, we're getting to the point that we're all becoming aware of each other. Yeah, not just... Um, oh dear. Oh dear. Um, can I go this way? Yeah, I could go this way. That would just be the shortcut. Actually, I do think I need to use that. Thank you. Uh, uh, watch your step there. And, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, just, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's terrible. And, uh, uh, like, everything lately has been very heavy. And I hope that you're all um, staying safe and uh, taking care of yourselves because you know 2020 has been a rough year and I keep doing that and 
I just want to see humanity thrive in the long term. You know, we are uh, essentially at a turning point in our in our history, and you know, now is the time when we actually need heroism, like the, the kinds of stuff you find in adventure novels. Yeah, you know, that's people standing up and saying, "Listen, you know, people are getting hurt." Yeah, through no fault of their own. Let's actually eat something. Uh, get another apple. Yeah. Next time I come across a, a ham hock or a leg of lamb, I'll grab that. But apples are good too. Eh? Yeah, dragons like apples. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, yeah, that's, that's one reason why I'm kind of turning this channel, or at least this series, into a, um, I am, you know, going to talk frankly about, you know, about, uh, ooh, I love cheese. I love cheese. Okay, get that cheese. Yum, yum. Uh, yeah, you know, trying to, trying to turn this channel into a, hey, you know, you know, let's, let's get this through together. You know, I've, I've, uh, been doing, you know, Stardew Valley as kind of my um, mental health, you know, here's how I'm doing series, you know, and, uh, and this one is more of my uh, philosophical lectures. So, yeah, uh, ooh, hello, you know, these guys uh, come back, don't they? Ooh. Oh, nice, got him on the first shot. See, they're 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 glowing. I don't I don't know why they're doing that. Do I want some ale? Do I want some? I I don't need any ale right now. They, they, s slow things. Why am I? Is it just that that ground? I guess it's like spider bodies. That's my best guess. Um, yeah, so, uh, co coming back to, uh, uh, I, I suppose, uh, you yeah, know, what fiction can teach us about this moment, you yeah, well, the, ooh, yeah, heroes is one. And, uh, let me tell you about something called the bystander effect, yeah, this is something that you may be familiar with already. Um, it's it's a psychological phenomenon where in an emergency someone will someone will you know see something and see that there are a bunch of other people and be like oh like this is terrible but somebody else is gonna do something but you know then that then that ends up yeah, you know, nobody does anything, and that's terrible. And uh, because you know, there's actually a real-world example of uh, yeah you know, of a uh, I believe it was a woman who was uh, who was being either raped or murdered. Yeah, see, it, it, I think it's just invisible. I hear ya. Where are you? I hear ya. I'm gonna get ya. Ah! Ouch! Okay. Dang, that guy was dodging like crazy. Hello! There we go. Let's see. Arrows. Ah. Yeah, it, it, like I'm just I'm just going to say that, you know, it it really sucks whenever uh you know, wh whenever you know, stuff like what's been happening happens, but you know, we really need heroes right now. And if you're out there 
being a hero, then, like, I am so proud of you. Like, yeah, I've, uh, I've been considering going out on the streets myself. Um, yeah, the, and, uh, yeah, let me just say you're braver than I am. <laughs> if, if you're, ah, I keep doing that. Like, this cave is very twisty-turny. Yeah, it's all the way that way. And I am just... Yeah. I'm just getting turned around and being a, du being a doofus. Although I think I was going to go back there for the... I, I need the inventory space. I have enough food already. Come across another piece of food, I'm just gonna eat it. Yeah, something like that. But, uh, I'm hoping that people will be able to learn enough from our collective consciousness because we really do have a collective consciousness now. Uh, I was talking earlier about my hive mind story, and, you know, the interesting thing about, you know, this uh, hive mind. Yeah, you know, is you know the the main part of the story is just how uh, how they react to uh, you know, to how humanity is treating itself, and I think that we really need a story like that right now because like like this is so hard to say, but. Um, yeah, I'm tired of people being shitty to each other. <laughs> and I bet I bet you are too, especially if you're watching this channel. You know, you just want to uh, you know relax and have a good time. And uh, yeah, and I and I uh, definitely definitely get that. Where is the other? Like, there's another branch I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to remember where it was. Now this is just going to be my uh, oh boy, I'm so lost episode. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Like when uh, when, when, yeah, when we get to when we get to the point where like we're, you know, we've already crossed so many Dungeon 1, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, w you know, when we get to the point where you know, we start to recognize how much we influence influence each other and and how we're we're literally in this together. We are uh, as far as you know, people can tell, you know, the yeah, the only... Where is... Where's the other ladder? What? Come on, this is... This is the dungeon. There was definitely a... Oh, I just went all the way back up to... I am sorry, folks! I'm... Uh... Uh, there goes my brain again. But, uh... Yeah, that gave that gave us a chance to talk and reflect because we really do need to reflect right now and be like, you know, I I care about humanity, you know, not just because I want humanity to care for me, but also because it hurts me to you know, to see you know, humanity not being nice. <laughs> uh, so, tell you what, maybe, maybe I've talked long enough and I should just spend the rest of this, uh, looking for the way down. Yeah. Okay, so next episode, I will be back once I have figured out where I am going.
for now. I hope you are staying safe and taking care of yourself. I love you all. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey. Have a good one. Okay. Bye.